Hi friends, in this lecture we will learn about anthelminthic drugs. Uh, here we are going to talk about the mechanism of action of these drugs, their uses and their adverse effects. So we will start with the benzimidazole class of antiparasitic agents. See these class of drugs have some special targets. So what are these targets? See these class of drugs have neuromuscular targets. So these drugs, these benzimidazole drugs can paralyze the worms rendering them incapable of attaching to or moving through the host. Right. So first let's have a look on these drugs. See the drugs belongs to this class are albendazole, mebendazole and thiabendazole. There are three drugs. What are these? Albendazole, mebendazole and thiabendazole. So how these drugs are going to work? See when you give these drugs, when you give these benzimidazoles, these benzimidazoles exerts their anthelminthic effects by binding to free beta tubulin subunits right see these beta tubulin subunits are special subunits which are involved which are very important in the formation of microtubules so when these drugs are going to bind to beta tubulin subunits these drugs are going to inhibit the polymerization of these tubulin subunits thereby it is going to inhibit the formation of microtubules and when the microtubule formation is gets inhibited in these parasites in these worms then the worm finds very difficult for the uptake of glucose so it's going to inhibit the microtubule dependent glucose uptake right so in a nutshell this class of drugs are designed to inhibit the microtubule formation thereby it's going to inhibit the microtubule dependent glucose uptake in these parasites followed by these drugs have broad spectrum activity indicate that they are used in the intestinal nematode infections and they are also used to treat cystode infections tinea solium which is the cause of neurocysticercosis and a kind of echinococcus it causes hydatid disease right and the adverse effects with these class of drugs with these benzimidazole class of drugs are minimal but still thiabendazole is the least used of these three drugs due to its side effects so this is all about the benzimidazole class of antiparasitic agents moving on to the next drug which is a pyrimidine derivative called pyrantel palm this drug depolarizes nematode neuromuscular junctions and this drug is used in the treatment of some intestinal nematode infections such as ascaris lumbricoids, nicator americanus and enterobius vermicularis. So adverse effects of these drugs includes GI symptoms, headache and rash all of which tend to be transient. Moving on to the next drug called Preziquantel See, this drug increases the calcium permeability in the parasite cells. It's prescribed in trematode infections, including those caused by cystosomes, paragonimus, and clonarchis. And it's also used to treat cystode infections, including those caused by tinea solium and hymenolepis. The adverse effects of Preziquantel includes diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever as well as lethargy. So you also be aware that the symptoms of cystosomiasis can be exacerbated by these treatments. So moving on to the next drug, Ivermectin. See this drug has multiple mechanism of actions. It alters chloride ion permeability of parasites which leads to paralysis and is thought to be a GABA agonist. Furthermore, it kills microfilariae and impairs filariae reproduction. Thus, it's used to treat some intestinal nematode infections caused by Ascaris lumbricoids, Enterobius vermicularis, Strongyloides stercoralis 
and Tricuris tricura. It is also the first choice of treatment for the filarial nematode Onchocerca volvulus, which causes river blindness. Adverse effects can occur in response to Onchocerca volvulus microfilaria death. This is called the Mazzotti reaction, which is a severe inflammatory response to the dead parasites and it is characterized by fever, chills, swollen lymph nodes, arthralgias and other symptoms. Moving on to the next drug, diethyl carbamazine. This drug is going to promote phagocytosis of microfilaria. That's it is used to treat filarial nematode infections including Vukiraria bancrofti and Brugia malai lulu and it's also an alternative treatment for Onchocerca volvulus infections and it's also used to treat infections caused by Toxocara nematodes which cause visceral larva migraines. As previously indicated, death of Onchocerca volvulus can produce the Mazzotti reaction. This drug has also been associated with damaging inflammation in the eye. Use caution when treating patients with high levels of circulating Lulu microfilaria because this drug can produce serious adverse effects including fatal encephalopathy when the microfilaria load is high. The last drug, niclosamide, this drug works by blocking oxidative phosphorylation and this drug is used as an alternative treatment for cystoid infections. The adverse effects of niclosamide includes transient GI symptoms. This is all about anthelminthic drugs. If you like this lecture, please do share this lecture and subscribe to my channel for more interesting concepts. We meet in the next lecture with a new concept. Till then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.